my jam. We only go to lockdown. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Griselda. In today's video I am going to be showing you how to create this everyday makeup look. It's super simple and I've gotten so many requests from you guys asking me to create an everyday makeup look because I always post it on Instagram and I realized that I never filmed it for YouTube which is like hello Griselda you should have. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this look. Not only that, I will also be talking to you guys about certain products that I feel like you should have. They may be a little bit expensive, but you also have those products that you should have as well that are super affordable. So if you want to see how I create this look, then keep on watching. Okay, before we get started, I am going to put a little bit of this Essential Enhancer Lip Conditioner by Jouer. My lips are looking real crusty right now so to start off with the skin i'm gonna spray myself with this hydration prebiotic three in one multi mist this is going to just kind of wake up the skin it can be used as a primer but because this is going to be an everyday as i'm going to work kind of look you want to make sure that you prep the skin really, really well. Then I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is a moisturizer and a primer in one. I've been using this moisturizer lately and I really love how my skin feels. And I've also tried it with different foundations and I like how it works with other foundations as well. The reason why I feel like this moisturizer would be great because you're skipping that extra step. So you're doing that two in one you're priming and hydrating your skin at the same time after that you can just move on to foundation and for that we are going to be using the super stay up to 24 hour foundation by Maybelline which is this one right here as you guys can see I'm almost out so we're gonna apply this all over the face and also something to keep in mind if you always do your foundation first you're gonna cut your time in half especially in the morning I'm gonna dab that on and this is a full coverage foundation. And I'm going to be using my LC Cosmetics uh, sponge to blend that out. This sponge gets really, really big. So it will also help you kind of cut your time in half with the foundation application because it kind of covers everything. I feel like the morning routine it should be all about saving time. Especially being a mom, you got to get the kids ready. You got to get yourself ready. You know, you have no time to waste. So for concealer, we're gonna pick up Jouer Concealer. This is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Biscotti. And we're just gonna pop that right in the center. We're just gonna highlight the high points of the face. And then we're gonna pick up the LC sponge and blend that out. Going into the office, you always want to make sure that you look very awake and this is going to help you brighten underneath the eyes and give you that awake look. So we want to be nicely woke, you know? Picking up Banana Bread by Huda Beauty and this Morphe E48 brush, we're going to pick that up and tap whatever extra I have on the brush and we are going to set underneath the eyes. And keep in mind, this is not baking. We're just kind of lightly setting. We're gonna bake right after this. Now we're gonna pick up the LC sponge and then bake right underneath. Setting is just gonna help you stay matte throughout the whole entire day, especially if you're really oily. And sometimes we don't have time to touch up if we're at the office, at work, running errands. So you wanna make sure that you set your whole entire face really good. Next, to set the whole entire face, we're gonna use this Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate Plus Powder Set. So we're gonna pick up this Hourglass Dual Brush and then lightly set the whole entire face. In those areas where I set, I kinda of go in and I buff lightly so you can't see where the powder ends it just blends everything together make sure you bring it down the neck and then with the other side of the brush we're just gonna go in and just dust everything off if you are dry underneath the eyes and still want to set 
I would skip the baking part and just set lightly with the brush. So for bronzer, you guys already know my favorite, Make a Star Glamour Bronze by Morphe. We're gonna pick up this Makeup Forever Wavy 156 brush, which I also have been loving for my bronzer. And then we're just gonna go in and bronze the skin. Okay, so moving on to blush, we're going to use this Construct by ColourPop in collab with Shayla. If you guys saw my last video, you guys saw me use this blush. And we're going to pick up this Too Faced Perfect Powder Brush. And we're just going to pop that at the apple or the cheeks. This is like a perfect everyday blush. For highlight, I'm going to use the Master Chrome by Maybelline. This is in the shade molten gold but before we highlight we're gonna go ahead and spray our face and i'm gonna use the glow recipe this is the watermelon glow ultra fine mist which i have been using so much mm, it smells like watermelon i just really love how it makes my skin look it makes it look really refreshed and this can also be used throughout the day so if you are a little bit more on the drier side this definitely is going to be like your best friend if you have fix plus you can use fix plus but i've been really loving this glow recipe fine mist so with this highlighter a little bit goes a long way so you have to be very careful the amount that you put on and i'm using the sigma tapered highlight f35 brush so we're just gonna pop that right here just to give you like a subtle highlight you don't want to walk in the office or to work to just blind everyone i mean you can but everyone's just gonna have to go home and then because this is like a gel form highlight i'm gonna pick it up with my finger and just apply it at the bridge of the nose it kind of melts onto the skin a lot nicer with your finger i'm gonna hit the forehead really quick you know you might walk into work and just get a promotion if you look like this See, when you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready, so. So now that we're all done with the skin, we're gonna move on to brows. I'm gonna use this Ultra Fine Brow Pencil by CoverGirl. This is literally an everyday brow pencil, and it's affordable, so you don't have to break the bank. I feel like you definitely need those staple products that are affordable and that are a little more on the higher end in your everyday routine, because makeup obviously is very expensive, so I feel like if you have a brow pencil that is, what, six, seven dollars, and you go through it a lot quicker instead of paying like 25 to 30 dollars for a brow pencil we're just gonna fill in those sparse areas and i really like this pencil because it does give me like a really nice natural finish to the brow it doesn't make it look super intense it just makes it look really natural and that's the look that we're going for and i'm using the shade honey brown before we move on i went ahead and i just cleaned up my brows a little bit with this mac studio finish concealer in the shade nw25 now we're gonna set the brows with this benefit brow gel it's just a clear brow gel you want these brows to just kind of stay in place okay so for the eyes we're going to prime with this nars this is the tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base and we're just going to apply that all over so we're just going to pat that in and we're just going to buff it out towards the outer corner and if you have really oily eyelids i always highly recommend for you to to add a base to your eyes because this is just going to help the eyeshadow just stay on and not crease I used to struggle with that back in the day when I didn't know what an eye base was. Now I can never apply my eyeshadow without using an eye base. And then I'm just going to pick up a little bit of translucent powder and then set because that's how oily my eyelids are. It will crease if I don't set it. And as you can see, I'm using a patting motion so I don't interrupt the base. Also, setting the base is going to prevent your eyeshadow to look really muddy. For the eyes, I'm going to be using the Dream Palette by Sigma in collab with Beauty Bird. I feel like this palette is so universal. It is a very everyday palette. You have your colors, you have your kind of in-between colors, and then you have your neutrals. And then you also have two highlighters, which is... I can't point and look at the camera at the same time this one and this one right here we're gonna pick up caramelito which is this color right here and we're gonna pop that into the crease we're gonna pick up my mac 224 to pick up that color we're just gonna apply that right into the crease and i picked up a generous amount because 
I really feel like once I buff the color out, it just gives you like a really nice skin tone color. And I really like to work in the first transition shade because this is what is still going to stand out when you layer the other colors as well. Now we're going to pick up this color called Boo Boo and this Morphe M506 brush. We're going to place that right on the outer corner and I like to place it upwards just like this. So it can give me like a really nice like lifted look almost as if you're doing a smoked out wing liner so you just want to place it upwards like this and just kind of buff it out and then connect it to the crease and i like to hold the brush down here so i can see exactly where the socket and the crease meets and that's going to help me with the placement of the eyeshadow and then just grab your 224 by mac and then just kind of buff those two together now we're going to pick up tacos and chill with that same brush and we're going to place it right on top of that and buff that out you're just adding layers to the eyeshadow to kind of give it a little bit more depth and then again you want to go in with your 224 and just blend that out Adding layers is definitely going to help you create that really nice dimension to the crease and it's super easy. It doesn't take that long and of course with practice it's going to get easier and it's going to look a lot better. The key to a really nice eyeshadow is having that brush that you used for your transition shade, your well your first transition shade. That's going to help you blend all the colors together. Next we're going to pick up this color called Conchita. And then we're going to pick it up with this Blending E25 by Sigma. We're also just going to wet it just a little bit. And I also like to use a blending brush when I apply my lid color just so I can blend it out at the same time as I'm applying it. I just really love how this color combination just looks together. It gives you like a really nice like soft look, but like very professional at the same time. And then I'm going to use my Morphe M506 brush and then I'm just going to blend everything together in the outer corner and then just continue going back and forth with those two colors just to kind of give you a nice blended eyeshadow. So we're going to pick up my Dose of Colors Extra Baggage Eyeliner and this, this 210 by MAC. I don't want to use a black eyeliner because I want this to be very subtle so the brown is just going to complement the eyeshadow. And I'm also not doing a wing, I'm just doing the eyeliner, do the shape of my eye. Alright, so for mascara, we're going to use this Go Big or Go Home by Kat Von D. I don't know if you guys watch my Insta stories, but I use this mascara and I put it to the ultimate test because it says that it doesn't transfer. And you guys know me, I always talk about my bottom lashes transferring, so that's why I always stick to one mascara. And this one, I applied it on before I jumped in the shower and I literally was so shocked because when I went like this there was literally nothing on my finger for an everyday and if you're gonna be wearing it all day you want a good mascara so I highly recommend you guys give this a try you can definitely just wear your lashes like this very natural or you can pop on some lashes which I'm probably gonna do this is totally optional you can definitely do whatever you feel is most comfortable for you it doesn't want to walk in to work looking extra i have two sides obviously since i'm a gemini i feel like it just depends on what mood i'm in i have these ardell wispies these are the foam mink the demi wispies and then i also have these kiss lashes which are called boostier and these are a little bit more dramatic than these i feel like i'm probably gonna go with these ardell ones because i don't want it to be too too extra especially because it is like an everyday going to work kind of makeup look. We're just gonna throw these on. So usually for my waterline, I like a really light color, but I don't wanna do a nude. So I'm gonna be using this 24 seven glide on eyeliner pencil by Urban Decay in the shade Smog. And we're just gonna run that through the waterline. It's a very subtle brown. So now we're gonna mix Carmelito and Boo Boo together. And we're gonna pick up our 224 by MAC. And then we're just gonna run that through the bottom of the lash line. 
Now picking up just Tuckle and Chill with a flat brush. This one is the E43 by Morphe. We're gonna place that right towards the end and we're gonna apply it right at the root of the lash line. And I don't wanna bring it all the way in. I just wanna leave it like towards the outer corner. So I wanted to show you guys the lashes. As you can see, they're not super long, but they just kind of add a little bit of volume to my own lashes. So that's why I chose these. So moving on to the lips, so we're going to be using this Laura Mercier. This is the Longwear Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Hazelnut Tea. And a cool trick with these two is you can also use this as an actual lipstick. As you guys can see, these lip liners glide on so easily, and the color pigmentation is there. You can just like color in your lip and it's going to stay on a lot longer. I'm going to be using a Poise lipstick by Dose of Colors because I want it to be a little bit more nude and I'm just going to pop it right on top and then just going back in to define the lips again. I'm going to top this off with a little bit of gloss, not so much. I'm just going to pop that right in the center. And I'm using the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. So I'm just going to go ahead and straighten my hair because this hair needs some help I just kind of blow dried it we're just gonna straighten this really quick I completely forgot to, to set my makeup so we're gonna use this locket setting spray by Kat Von D you want to make sure that the makeup lasts a long day so you always want to make sure that you want to set it with a setting spray all right everyone so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and also let me know if this is going to be your new everyday routine whether you're going to the office or you're out in the field let me know what you think i really think that this look is such a soft everyday look but it's still glam at the same time i balanced it very well with the lashes and just the eye makeup look just period i really love Love how it came out this is usually what I gravitate towards when I'm going to an event because I feel the most comfortable in this look and it's super wearable hope you guys like this video let me know if you have any other suggestions in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video